Disclaimer, the following video is intended for general audiences. Kids can enjoy it for the content shown, while teens and adults can enjoy it for the nostalgia. That being said, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, John here. Back at it again after a long hiatus when our, one of John's here at Customs. This time we're showing off the utter engines of Edwards Branch Line. And uh, vehicles too. Yeah, I'm sorry for the long wait. I've just been busy with our stuff. So, yeah, let's get on to this. First off, we'll show Salt of the Dockyard Diesel. Well, basically what I did to him is I added some weathering to him all over here. Including the rust on his buffer beams. I gave him a headlamp there. Paint on the front and rear cab windows. Also, I had the tail lamp too. And the dummy coupling hooks. And the ladders. Yes, he works just fine. He's a little whiny, but it's fine. And that's all I pretty much did to Salty, mostly. My motorized one. It's the only motorized one that we see in the video. And next up, we have Porter. I painted the cylinders to the top right there. I had his bell and whistle and the detail to his sandbox domes and the steam dome, as well as the rivets. I had some front cab windows, as well as the rear ones with the tail lamp and the coal in the bunker, as well as the rear buffer beam. And those ropes that connect for, I guess, the sand unit for the sand domes. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah. There's his buffer beam with the, with the coupling hook guide. Also the star to his lamp, it's kind of poorly done, but oh well, it's better than nothing. Next up we have Boko. You've seen this one in my audition video for Railfin or one. Now we're gonna see it up close. Well, let's see, I painted his eyes and mouth in with some uh, white and black. I painted the eyes with white, although I need to fix that little when you, underneath his eye. I gave him the season three look for his mouth with the teeth and the laughing face. I had his headlamps there. I had a front buffer beam, and to accommodate most of that, I just removed his magnet, the front. I had the red on the sides of him. Repainted the roof details. Also, here's the back detailing with uh, the windows and the lamps and the doorway and the buffer beam. And that's all I pretty much did to Boko. It's a little splotch of white. I don't know how that got there. I'll have to repaint over that later. And now we have Trevor the Traction Engine. This is the Adventures Trevor. I've updated him a lot. I just painted his wheels. Spokes are red. And the tires are black and the silver bits for the axles. Painted the inside of his flywheel green. The inside of his open cab with black. Painted the undercarriage back there green. Also, I had the red stripes to his belly tank and the little axle holder. And I also gave him a taller funnel using some perler beads and some hot glue to put it together. Painted the top with gold. That's all I pretty much did to Trevor the Traction Engine. And we also have a new Deluxe Cranky here. Yes, uh, it still works just fine. What detail do I add to him? Well, I add the, as you can see right in there, add the white to his searchlight. I paint the detailing for his uh, nameplates in the back of the cab. Also paint the uh, ladder here as well. Not much to do to Cranky. Yeah. But yeah, it's a great cranky. I love this one. Well, that's it for the engines from that you're working on a trench line that aren't part of the clay pits. As well as the real vehicles. I don't know vehicles too. Now for the clay pits gang. First off, we have Bill and Ben. Let's start with Bill. Well, what I did to him, I just gave him a new nameplate and SCC lettering from Sprites. Well, the nameplate is made custom. I also had the Brendan Bay from a head-on promo. As you can tell it's much better seen here than it was in the official toy. I had his lamp as well as the sandbox to hold that lamp. I helped to update the buffer beam at the front, and, like make it like bigger, like in the show. I had his sandboxes underneath his uh, saddle tank. I also had the wheel lubricators and the red outlining for those uh, panels as well as the back too. 
You have in the tail lamp there, the window. I also had front windows and the whistle right in there. And the back dome is black. Here's the rear buffer beam. That's all I pretty much did to Bill. Uh, Ben's pretty much the same deal. I just had a few differences. There's a few differences. Just the nameplate and the face is from the Wooden Railway uh, Blue Ben. I just wanted to have a yellow Ben as well. So pretty much a lot of the detail is the same. So because they're twins, I also had the name on the bottom saying Ben. And yeah, that's pretty much all I did to Ben as well. So Bill and Ben are pretty much the same. So didn't have to talk about much about them. Here's something I could talk more about. Timothy, the oil burning engine. Here's what I did. I added his silver to the light bulb in his lamp. Painted the buff beams with the red buff, with the black buffers and the coupling hook. There's the back as well. Same deal. I also painted his rear buffer beam red. Painted the side rods and those little uh, extensions to the side rods as well. And the little details inside there. And that step ladder. Painted detailing for his uh, levers and the whistle chain. Front and rear window, a tail lamp, uh, the oil canister has the red stripes on it. I painted his whistle on. I also added the black to the running board. Yeah, this is the 2014 TV. I love it, you know. Nice proportions. And now we have Marion, the Railman steam shovel. As you can tell, I hauled out the bucket. Painted the detailing on her crane arm, such as the other arm and the gears. Painted her lamp on. Let's add her funnel and a whistle paint on. Rear tail lamp, I painted a simulation bunker as well as the rear coupling hook and the red buffer beam. Those are the front buffer beam with some buffers and a coupling hook. I hope to give her a more three dimensional bunker here someday. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I also hope to get a better shovel for Marion. I prefer the Take and Play or Adventures one. Hopefully I can get a uh, Riotron 12 to uh, sell one on eBay for me. I don't know. I'll have to ask him. But yeah, I love this Marion uh, for the most part, you know, except for the shovel and the lack of the bunker. But yeah, Marion looks really good. I pretty much did to Marion here. And the last but not least, Derek the Paxman Diesel. Details I add, well, I add his red buffer beams on both ends with the buffers, coupling hooks, and brake pipes. Also add his windows there, in the front and rear. And there's his rear tail lamps. I know that one train guy really likes Derek, so here's a shout out to him. Yeah, uh, this is the 2007 Derek, so the engine slides out also. It's yellow at the back. But I paint in the details as well. I really like uh, Derek, he's pretty underrated. I wish he had more appearances, but other than that, he's a pretty cool character, yeah. Anyway, that's all I did to the uh, Edward Branch Lane gang, the other members. So anyway, this is John Takul 1001 signing out. Hope to see you in the next video, and take care, everyone.